Court police. It's patently absurd, isn't it? Or, it's kind of astonishing. Actually. Although, in the case of militant Catholics, you could argue uh, it's payback for the Spanish Inquisition. I mean, that would, uh, was that raised in court as an argument? Well, it said no one would, <laughs> no one would expect that. Uh, <laughs> it does seem somewhat ironic, though, doesn't it, that the campaigners who are getting upset about having their freedoms curtailed whilst actively working uh, against a woman's freedom to choose what she does with her own uh, body. It says, insert joke here. <laughs> Well, she you're treading on very... At the time. <laughs> no. As far as I know, she wasn't high up in the Catholic establishment at the time, so it's hard, therefore, to blame her particularly for that. Yes. For the Spanish Inquisition? For the Spanish Inquisition, specifically. I was yes. joking, though. No. Yeah, you have <laughs> yeah. to signal it to Roger if it's a oh, joke. You have to, you have to do some right. sort of gesture. So I, 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 I am think... entitled to take you at face value, yeah. well, I, I mean, always. I definitely think nobody should outlaw anyone's uh, uh, praying. Well, of course, I mean... Well, especially no. as it's... It's only pretend, isn't it? So, I, you know, it's a bit of fun. Well, outrageous. Um, but I would suggest that, you know, this is obviously an infringement on... on you know, it's not even freedom of speech. It's freedom of non-speech. Yeah. It's freedom of standing there silently. And yeah. I do worry, I mean, the government's been cracking down on protests quite a lot recently with their police crime and sentencing, sentencing bill, with their public or, their amendments to the public order bill, which the, the Lords thankfully kicked out uh, the other week. I mean, uh, you know, you should be able to... Whatever you think about this issue, and it is a sensitive, divisive mm. issue, but if you're standing on the street silently... That I don't think there is any grounds, surely. It questions the policing of this whole... Uh, it's a whole new concept to me, but the Public Spaces Protection Order. Yes. Which basically creates a zone um, specifically around abortion clinics. Well, they call it a censorship zone. I think what they've got in mind, though, is sort of people there with placards screaming abuse. Exactly. and yeah. That's not now, what's going on. at that point, here. it becomes harassment and intimidating. Which and is totally already illegal. I don't understand illegal. where this comes from. But, and that's the point, it's already illegal. Yeah, it's already covered. I mean, we had so, this with the, mm. with the protest bill. I mean, they're sort of saying that if a, if a, if a protest uh, veers into criminality or damage, criminal damage, but that's already covered. Yeah. We've got laws that cover it. We don't need these But it's if, if you're thinking that maybe later in the day that you might do a crime, you've already the, done the crime. Yes, it's pre-crime. you thought that you might do it. Yeah, that might yeah. be the issue. Pre-crime, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very worrying. So, you know, it is, it is undoubtedly the right decision, so that is good. 